I just moved out here last week from Pennsylvania, and I'm getting ready to get the fuck out of here next week, dog. I'm not gonna lie. Dog. I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel a little weird. Like my mom called me earlier today. She was asking me how I was doing. And I told her I'm not depressed, but if I'm in the kitchen making ramen and I see a cockroach, I just mind my business, you know. It's like an internal battle with me because I know I should do something about that cockroach. But if I do, I also gotta do something about the one swimming in my ramen. I just, <laughs> I just can't do it, man. Cause the roaches out here are built different too. They're big and fast, you know? Like I was smoking outside and I see one run, running mad fast. I thought the motherfucker looked like he was 15 minutes late to work. I can't kill him. <laughs> I can't kill somebody that got priorities, you know what I mean? <laughs> back home, they small and lazy. We got Puerto Rican roaches back home. Them motherfuckers just collecting welfare, so ain't nobody gonna miss them out here. <laughs> Crazy, man. And I grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania called Bethlehem. Yeah. 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 It's funny, because I, I didn't know a Jesus growing up back home, you know? 411 Mexican dude, real cool people, you know? Couldn't walk on water, but this motherfucker jaywalked on me like crazy, man. You know? He was cool, man. He was, and he was built, you know, one of them built diesel motherfuckers. Like, I work out a little bit, you know? And like, I, my favorite part about going to the gym is the stupid advice you hear at the gym. It's great. Like, my first time ever working out, I went to the greatest gym in the planet, Planet Fitness. Great. And listen, I know it's the no judgment zone, but if you're taking gym advice at Planet Fitness, that's like taking tax advice from Wesley Snipes. It's no good, man. It's not, man. It's not. But it's funny because like the first time I was working out, I heard these two guys talking. Normal dude in the gym, bro. And if you don't know what a gym, bro, it's those dudes that are big as fuck up top, diesel, but got two big legs, shaped like a slice of pizza and shit, you know? And the guy's asking him, bro, what's your secret? How'd you get so big? He says, muscle confusion. You want to confuse your muscles. You got to. If you want to grow, that's the key. And I, I'm in high school, so I thought the, the way to grow was to fucking drink protein shakes and lift weights, you know? Now I'm thinking I gotta give my muscles confusing ass pop quizzes when I come to the gym. You know <laughs> and it's crazy because dudes that take steroids always got the stupidest reason for why they got big or in shape. Like another thing you'll hear at Planet Fitness a lot is no carbs after 6 p.m. Eat a muffin at 5.59 straight protein. Finish one bread from 601, 10 pounds of fat. It's some bullshit, man. <laughs> And I'm just like, yo, if my muscles know how to tell time when never seeing the clock, how the fuck am I supposed to confuse them, man? <laughs> like, I can't be doing bicep curls and in between my sets whisper to my muscles like, hey, if a train's coming at you at 80 miles per hour, <laughs> and you're running away at 2.5, but you got your good Tims on this day, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tipsy bar? <laughs> But thankfully, man, I, I, I went to college and I majored in exercise science to learn more about this shit. And one day, I asked my professor about muscle confusion. He said it doesn't exist. It's impossible to confuse your muscle. Impossible. <laughs> Clearly, he never makes weed with pre-workout before, because... <laughs> you pop some indica gummies and wash that shit down with five Red Bulls. That'll confuse the fuck out your muscle, man. <laughs> Should be having me in a park, gym parking lot for 45 minutes, like, let's go in there, move some weight. Or get a cheeseburger, man. I seem like a lot of work. Maybe some fries or shake. Like, my body don't know if it want to do 500 burpees or eat 500 burgers. It's crazy, man. It's funny, man. And while I was in college, I was a, a mentor for a student with Down syndrome. Cool kid, you know? He was part of the Special Olympics powerlifting team. So part of my job was to take him to his practices and you know, watch him lift and his teammates. And if Muscle Confusion had a mascot, uh, all I'm saying is they'd be a front runner, you know what I mean? Cause like, I never seen somebody struggle with their facial muscles to grab a straw and then squat 800 pounds like, after that. Like, this shit was nothing, you know what I mean? He's gotta stand there like, oh, good job, buddy. Cause they can't know they that strong, bro. Tell them you ran out of apple juice, that motherfucker rip your face off like a pet chimpanzee, bro. Not today, Timmy, not today, dog. Mm -mm. Now I moved out here with my girl. 
I feel kind of bad for her because she don't got a car, so all she does all day is watch makeup tutorial videos. That's all she does. And there's one day she's watching a video, and I'm curious, so I go in and watch one with her. And right away, it's just not making sense. You know, it's not adding up. Like, this girl's using colors that don't match. Got lines going all over the place. And I read the title of the YouTube video, and it says, Blind Girl Does Her Makeup. <laughs> that explained why my girl's face looked like a four-year-old's coloring book, man. It was, it was bad. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking shit. Like, she's gotten better. Now she looked like an eight-year-old's coloring book. Color, coloring inside the lines, but rough as fuck for no reason. It's just like, And my girl, she's into horoscopes too. I hate that shit, man. I hate the fucking horoscope stuff. So like when she met my little sister for the first time, that's all my little sister cared about. She saw her coming. She's like, oh my God, what's your sign? You're so cool. She's like, Scorpio. She's like, oh, my brother's a cancer. That's why you guys click, because you're a Scorpio cancer. They click. I thought we clicked because she had a fat ass, man. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about all that Scorpio shit, but hey, if Scorpions got fat asses, I'm into it, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I ain't judging, man. And my girl, I talk a lot of shit about her, but she's kind of like my armpit hair. Let me explain. <laughs> so like with your armpit hair, you know when you shave it, it only grows to like a certain length. It never grows longer than its longest. So like with my girl, I know when she, whenever she gets crazy, she's never gonna outdo her craziest, you know? And that's the consistency I love from her. <laughs> And there's a stereotype about Hispanic women that they're always threatening to stab you, which is true. They're always like, I'm gonna stab you, I'm gonna stab you, I'm gonna stab you. They never say I'm gonna kill you, though. My name's Kevin Garcia, y'all remember?